Hello everyone, my name is Aiki, and welcome back to Persona 3 FES. Last time we managed to beat the mythical Gigas, as well as start working on more of our social links. And this time we are going to, well, we're going to try to unreverse our social link with Yukari here, because we managed to piss her off. Somehow. Anyways, I'm going to see if the monk is available. And we'll just continue from there. We have two weeks until the full moon. And it looks like the monk is not here. Alright. So I guess we'll go to the arcade. Let me change my persona first. So I noticed when I was fusing uh, personas that these stats that they gain actually do translate over to um, when they're being fused. So if I used Succubus in a fusion, then the resulting persona had a lot higher stats than if I didn't use Succubus and I don't know if I'm explaining this right, but no, I can't talk to you, Yuko. Um, I was trying to make, well, I was looking at the fusions I could do and there was a Cert the Magician and basically I could make him using Succubus or with another persona and it ended up showing that if I made him using Succubus, he would have like over 10 more strength than otherwise. Uh, okay, class. I know you've been busy lately, but you all remember to do your homework, right? Just because you're not taking a literature class next year doesn't mean you can blow off classic lit. Hey, are you listening to me? What's wrong, Fuka? You look kind of down. Huh? Talk to me. Tell me what's bothering you. It's about Aragaki Senpai. Oh, pretty shocking, huh? Never seen him at school, but I've seen him around town. I wonder if he really did get caught up in some kind of crime. Some things you can never get back. I know that from all the things that have happened with my parents. I've sort of been avoiding the question. But is it okay for me to go on like this? Parents, huh? I can relate to that. But you'll be okay, right? Natsuki, what are you waiting for? Come on up. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Don't you want to give your classmates a proper goodbye? Huh? What's going on? Uh, hello everyone. I know it hasn't been that long, but I feel like I've made some good friends. I'll remember each and every one of you, even after I transfer. Thank you. How's that? Transfer? What? weird one, you know? The biggest bitch in the school is leaving, and you feel sorry for her. You're transferring? And you didn't say anything? It's not like telling you would have changed anything. Why make us both depressed? Anyway, my dad's pretty sick. And they say it'll take some time for him to recover. We don't really have that much money, so we can't afford to stay here. You know, I still think you're crazy for being friends with someone like me. But, like I said before, we're both in the same boat. My parents act like I don't even exist. I hate living at home. 
That's why I was so jealous when you moved into the dorm. Matsuki-chan. But, Fuka, your house is nearby and your parents are pretty normal. So why'd you move? Huh? Well, um... If you don't want to tell me, that's okay. But if it's something that you and your folks can work out, then do it while you have the chance. It'll be a while before my dad's in any condition for us to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. <laughs> what am I doing? This isn't what I wanted to talk about. You know, Fuka, I used to think that every day was just the same. And I'm only saying this because it's you. But you don't get any second chances in life. If you accept the way things are, then they'll never change. This is the last time I'll see this view. Huh. I won't be in school next week, because I'll be packing, so... Guess this is goodbye. No! <laughs> it's okay, everything will be alright. Come on, don't give me that look. What? Hey, I'm not helpless, you know. I've changed a lot since I met you. I'm gonna try and figure out what I really want now. So, I hope you do the same. What I really want? I used to try and please everyone. I was afraid of not being liked, so I did my best to fit in. But I never really thought about what I wanted. <laughs> that is so like you, Fuka. Well, I say, if they don't accept you for who you are, then screw them. But I like you, even if you don't like yourself. Matsuki-chan. Well, better get going. Chan. Natsuki Chan. Even if we're apart, we'll still be connected. It all makes sense now. I've always been so worried about how others are feeling. That's why my power allows me to stay connected with them. I guess there is something I want after all. It makes me happy to see everyone else happy too. So, I want us all to remain friends. The power to connect people even when they're apart. My persona has given me this amazing gift. The resolution in Fuka's heart has awakened a new persona. Lucia has given rise to Juno. There you are. Why? Did something happen? It is surprising to find you on the rooftop. Ah, we were just wondering what you were up to. Everything's okay now. I've made up my mind. I'll do as much as I can with my power. For my sake, as well as the sake of others. Okay... <laughs> Sorry, I guess that was sort of random, wasn't it? Uh, are you sure you're all right? That was some friendship there. I like that. Uh, haven't decided yet.
I still have to get that helmet from the teacher. I might stop by. Hey, I guess what you're up to? I get it. Hey, Kenji. Yeah? Sure thing, dude. Yep, so before I forget, we have to head to the faculty office, and then... Hopefully... Nope, Yukari's not here, so... Can't do that. Mitsuru is here. Huh. Is he talking about the guy from Strega? So lonely. No, she's a gamer. In and out. Interesting, huh? No, I can't play Mahjong. I don't think you should be teaching Mahjong to a high schooler. Hey Mitsuru. Queen card set. Interesting. Alright. I guess we should hang out with Baby. Yeah. Wrong. Hmm. Sure. All right. I think you just have to show him your enthusiasm for all things Japanese culture. Maybe then he'll be moved by how... how... interested you are, or enthusiastic you are. Yeah. Don't have any regrets, man. Really? Alright. That sounds like a good plan.
even then, even if you have to go back, if you work hard at home for a couple years, you'll, you'll be able to come back to Japan with your own money. Hi, how was your day? All right. Yeah, I heard. That's a good attitude. Distance doesn't change friendships. Yeah, that's what she said. That's a good thing. Isn't it you that's always talking about studying and grades as well as Mitsuru? Like he's always telling us not to forego studying just because we have to train. Indra bracers. Uh, sorry, I'm busy. I don't want to get too far with Fuka at the moment. It's a little early in the week to decide. Good morning. Yep. Just one more to go. Same here. Looks like we'll be able to get this done before the new year, before Christmas. Maybe. Haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll dedicate some time to Bebe. Finish his temperance. But of course, I still have to chase after this samurai teacher. Who promised me a helmet over three weeks ago. And there's Yukari, so I'm gonna talk to her. Alright. No, I want a helmet. Thank you. Oh, really? So, baby has one too. Finally. That was extremely tedious, especially considering that my academics is maxed. Hey. Do you want to walk home? Please? 
Okay, let's not screw this up. Oh, I'm so nervous. I think first things first, we should apologize. We did it. Oh, thank God. Sub, dude. Ah, <sighs> I'm relieved. And I think you should just leave it up to me, man. Yeah, I think that is a good note to end off on. We managed to reverse the social link, or unreverse the social link. Fuka gained a new persona, and we had some progress with Bebe. So, until next time, thanks for watching.